Good afternoon all. Uh, on behalf of Antique Stock Broking, we welcome you all to Q4 FY24 post earnings conference calls of Canada Bank. From the management team, we have Shri K. Satyanarayan Raju, MD and CEO, sir, Shri Devashish Mukherjee, Executive Director, Shri Ashok Chandra, Executive Director, Shri Hardeep Singh Aluwalia, Executive Director, and Shri Bhavendra Kumar, Executive Director. Without further ado, I hand over the call to MD sir for his opening remarks, post which we can open the floor for any questions. Thank you, sir, and over to you. Good evening to all of you, sir. So I am presenting here before that some few highlights of that uh, the just concluded fourth quarter at the financial year 23-24. So our global business has <coughs> touched all-time high of 22.73 lakh crore with a year-on-year -year growth rate of 11.31%. Our global advances has grown at 11.34% to stood at 9.61 lakh crore. Our global deposits have grown at 11.29% year-on-year uh, growth rate of that 11.29% and stood at 13.12%. The deposits in the fourth quarter has grown considerably. As we uh, shared with you during that uh, announcement of the third quarter results, that we focus this quarter more on that liability side to see that our incremental uh, credit growth in the financial uh, incremental CD ratio in the current financial areas will be well within the 100 percent, which we could achieve it. That has helped us in controlling the, our cost of deposit as well as in the improvement of the, our uh, CASA percentage. Our net profit stood at 3,757, all-time high in the history of the bank at a year on year growth rate of 18.33%. With this, the board has permitted us to propose, to propose the board has proposed a dividend of 161% of paid up capital as against a last year, what we have paid the dividend of 120%. So our net interest income has increased 11.18% year on year and stood at 9,580. And the return on asset has further improved to 1.01% and year-on-year -year improvement is 20 basis points. Our PCR is improved to 89.10% with year-on-year -year improvement of 179 basis points. Our credit cost is again maintained the below 1% that is at stood at 0.96% with an improvement of year-on-year -year 21 basis points. The gross NPA has stood at 4.23% year-on-year year, a decline of 112 basis points. Our net NPA stood at 1.27 percent, year-on-year decline of 46 basis points. This, whatever the 11.34 percent of our advances what we announced is led by our RAM sector, grown at 13.52 percent and stood at 5,41,489 crore out of 9,60,000 crores. And this led by retail credit at 11.68 percent, Agriculture and allied activities are grown at 18.69% and the housing loan grown at 10.81% and vehicle loan grown at 14.03%. Our year-on-year -year earning per share has improved 37.26%, stood at 80.23 compared to last year earning per share is at 58 rupees. So the, now that uh, net interest margin last year total cumulative last entire year financial year previous financial year NIM was 2.95 as against that current year NIM cumulative is at 3.05 percent with an incremental improvement of 10 basis points which is also as one of the remarkable uh, uh, performance I can say that the, under the present uh, hardship conditions for the banking industry at a high interest rate regime of the liabilities. Even that liability set rate of interest has steeply increased. We could manage by managing the, our credit portfolio. That's the reason we could manage in the last fourth quarter, our uh, quarter on quarter, the incremental growth in the yield on advances were 11 basis points versus the increase in the incremental uh, interest expenses is 8 basis points. This we could achieve it. That's why we could achieve 3.0%. But the fourth quarter itself, our NIM was 3.07%. This we could achieve it where we are, we are already sharing earlier also two, three quarters back that we have some 60 to 70,000 crores corporate exposure at much, much cheaper rate, which we lent two years back because that to invest our surplus money. 
which we want to gradually reduce that exposure and uh, to see that the stress on our margins to avoid that. That we are successful in the current quarter also. We reduced our uh, such exposure to, to some extent, uh, that around 10 to 13,000 crores. That has helped us in improving our NIMS and the yield on advances. And these are all the few uh, ratios we are, we are sharing. I think now it is a open for you, if at all, if you want to ask, because this presentation has been already shared with all of the investors as well as the on online also, we our website also, it has been displayed. Now it's a, open for the forum, is open for all the analysts. Whatever the clarifications are, the queries you want to raise, and my myself along with me, all my four executive directors are with you now. It's now open for the forum for discussions, sir. Yeah, uh, so the first question we have from the line of Maruk. Uh, credit growth no yes, sir hi good afternoon sir good afternoon madam yes sir so sir i have a couple of questions my first question is on your guidance that relative to what you have achieved in fi24 on credit growth your credit growth guidance is slightly softer for next year and everyone is quite bullish for the next few years, right, in terms of loan growth in retail and corporate. And then even on margins, your guidance of 290, that's like 17 basis points lower than the fourth quarter exit rate, right? So these are, uh, these are sub-questions on the guidance portion. And then I have a question on the new RBI draft circular. First, your comments. And then uh, companies like L&D Finance, REC, have actually quantified the impact from the draft circular based on their initial uh, estimates. So if you could give any so feedback me, of the annual of me, consolation. Yes, sir. Yes, madam. Let me clarify, madam, regarding that uh, our guidance in that uh, advances growth. Generally, whenever we give guidance, we give conservatively only, but we want to outperform what we are given to that uh, guidelines. Earlier also we are given 10%. You see that we have grown 11.34% even after rejigging that pricing that to corporate portfolio. And this year also what we are given 10% is a minimum growth. And we are sure that we will grow around 12% in the current financial year. But the guidelines always, whenever it's a practice of this bank, three years that we give little conservatively on the guidelines. But when it comes for the performance, we are outperforming in every quarter on quarter beyond that. Even NIM also, last time you see that the, our NIM is 2.95%, uh, the annual NIM, but the current year under such difficult conditions also, we are the only banker we could show the improvement in the NIM with the 10 basis points. Our NIM has reached to the annual uh, NIM is 3.05. Of course, fourth quarter it was 3.07. The 2.9 is only a, a guidelines given to you, it's a minimum. But we are sure that we will maintain at 2.95 to 3 percent. This is subject to presuming that the present tightness in the liquidity will continue throughout the year. If at all that liquidity is the easiest once the elections are over, naturally that will impact in our cost of deposit and automatically it will impact on improvement in the NIM. This is a basic minimum based on the existing circumstances we have given it, madam. But we are definitely confident that we can perform what we are doing is outperform in the last several quarters. The same it will continue in the next quarters also. We are not looking at any 
low traction in the credit either in the ram side or in the corporate side only that lower credit growth what we have shown is earlier because the two years back we invested 60 to 70000 crores when we have a surplus in our system we invested at a very low price to some big organizations which now presently is not feasible to continue at that price so hence slowly whenever it is coming for the renewal we are reducing our exposures to that uh, borrowers that is the reason it is looking at that it's the a little lower growth rate in the advances side but it's a, for all practical purposes for the new sanctions and all it is a compared to last year this year new sanctions are much more than what the last year sanctions so growth will be there demand is there but the only thing because we are rejigging our balance sheet in the low pricing we are making it to reasonable pricing because to maintain that margins uh, that it looks that it is a little lower side on the credit growth but the now the again you are telling about that your second question is on the what the rbi draft line, guidelines madam rbi draft guidelines it is still at a premature stage it is only a 2 3 days back we preliminary we tried to, to assess it but we have several doubts on that the guidelines because the guidelines never spoke about what is the floor limit for that project we have to calculate every small project also whether it is 1 crore or 10 crore or 100 crore or 500 crore that clarity is not there unless otherwise we get those clarities from them so it will be difficult to assess what is our impact on that but whatever the impact it is even whatever the guidelines if it as it is implemented also we are very much well prepared because you know that the last time when the risk weightage on the nbfc exposure has been increased or improved by the regulator we are the first banker partly we have shared with our borrowers this also it will continue whenever there is an improvement in these things suppose provisioning norms are increased we will recalculate our rare rock naturally part of that we share with our borrowers and the remaining things we will absorb it i don't see a too much pressure on our bottom line or even on the capital side madam Hello, thank you, sir. Uh, just what is your marginal cost of deposits, incremental cost of deposits? Madam, incremental deposit, the term deposits, uh, that is on an average, it is a 6.5 to 6.75 is there, madam. But the, because the CASA is there and the previous jo outstanding deposits at a lower rate, on an average, the cost of deposit last quarter, it is increased from 5.4 to 5.50. Now it is a cost of deposit as on date it is 5.50. But it's the last quarter you see that only 8 basis points has increased there. But yield on advances has increased from 8.6 to 8.71. That means 11 basis points has increased. That's why we are able to show the 3.07 NIM as against our projection of 3.05. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, the next question we have from Mona Khetan. Uh, request you to unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, sir. Good evening. Hi, Mona, madam. Hi. Uh, just a few clarifications. So, firstly, uh, when I look at your car balances, it was up 30%, over 30% this quarter. So, what exactly has driven this higher? No, car percentage is floating funds, madam. Whenever it comes for the floating funds, you get that uh, benefit. But we have taken some new schemes also in the car. The uh, actually two new schemes we introduced six months back. Those new schemes also have started earning that because we made it free of charge for every transaction in that. We have given several uh, customer friendly and we also introduced last year API banking for corporates and we also introduced a mobile uh, app for the corporates. These are all some of our initiatives, both the product side and the future side and the platform side is helped us in giving that boost in that current account. But one or two institutional deposits, institutional accounts where we could canvas the state governments or the central uh, government accounts, there also some float funds have come. That is the reason. But we have seen the steady growth in the savings individuals. 
savings individuals for year on year basis we have grown more than 17000 crores that has actually given a confidence that in the current year we could achieve it we could easily achieve that 33% projected whatever we have projected if you look at that the fourth quarter of our casa has improved from 31.65 to 32.21 or something to 4 so that itself is around 63 basis points it is increased in the fourth quarter because the entire machinery entire bank we have focused on casa by introducing new products new platforms new features and new initiatives to reach the uh, new customers as well as the connecting reconnecting with the existing customers and this current year also in the first working day we have launched one canara angel angel that's uh, targeting for the women customers and that has uh, widely accepted by the public and already in the one month we got more than 200 crores deposit mobilization in only in the new accounts not from the existing accounts this tempo of introducing new products and the initiatives technology related initiatives making the customer uh, journey is more comfortable to them will continue madam so that our focus you know we know that the unless otherwise we work hard on our casa it will have impact on our nims that's why we are working more and more on casa products and the casa mobilization madam uh, got it and secondly uh, on on the operating expenses front so what led to the sharp rise in other OPEX and what sort of pension provisions have been made this quarter? And given that there was retrospective impact of age hike this year, what sort of, uh, you know, normalized employee expense we can expect in FI25? The staff cost, uh, you know that as per the bipartite settlement, that as last time also we have provided 750 crores during that time. I shared with you that another 150 to 200 crores towards the actuaries or the pension benefits we have to provide it. But when it comes for the actual calculation, it has come to the 350 crores. That 350 crores, entire 350 crores. In addition to that, whatever the increase, incremental uh, salary we have to pay, entire amount we have provided in this only. The second one is, that is the reason the staff cost has shown that, but ultimately our staff cost will stabilize around 4,100, though it is a current 4,458 it is showing that <coughs> but next quarter onwards our quarterly expenditure what we are looking at is 4,000 to 4,100 so to that extent the cushion is there in our books the second one is other operating expenses also whatever the one time requirement is there that around 200 crores we have booked that expenditure also and since when we are investing on the IT naturally the IT expenses also is slowly operating expenses are increasing that but we are sure that we will maintain around 47 percent the cost of whatever this we could achieve that the cost to income ratio we will try to maintain that or little lower side at the 47 percent got it and just finally what what's the outstanding standard provisions on our books and what is the pcr we hold against the restructured book Madam, restructure portfolio overseas when it is comes for the RF1, RF2 and all. So total our restructure has made during that time it was 24,000 crores. But now as on date it is outstanding is only 17,000 crores. Out of that already 12,000 crores is standard asset and 4,800 crores slip to NPA. Okay. Uh, and uh, what sort of provisions do we hold against this 12,000 crore of standard asset? So whatever the stipulated regulatory stipulation is, that we are maintaining it well above than that, madam. So say around 10% or thereabouts. No, the, the regulatory requirement, whatever it is there, that we are pro providing it. Okay. And other than the general provisions of 40 bits, we may not be holding any other excess standard provisions. Is that a fair understanding? No, madam. Wherever it is required, actually, even if it is not required in one big account, the last year it has slipped to NPA. There, not in anticipation of future ready, we have provided some 300 crores additional provision, which is not required as per regulatory, but we have provided that 300 crores. Okay, but that was a slipped account. Total, actually, additional provisioning, uh, what we have done is 1,800 crores, madam. This is 1,800 crores is the standard asset crores. provisioning. No, madam. Total regulatory requirement eh, beyond that, that 1800 crores what we have provided. Okay. That is for okay. only future ready balance sheet. 
Okay. And this excludes the restructured book, uh, the minimum requirements of restructured yes, book as well. See, oh, every, everything, what? whatever regulatory requirement, we are meeting that regulatory requirement. Beyond that also, we are over-provisioning, we are making it. That is, the over-provisioning is around 1,800 crores in the form of either it is in the standard asset or restructured asset or NP asset. Got it, sir. And if I could just squeeze in one last uh, question. So, uh, on the recoveries front, uh, we have seen, uh, when when it comes to recovery from written off accounts, we have seen very strong numbers at about 5,900 crore in this year, if I take the full year. So, uh, you know, and, and this constitutes a very large part of your overall profitability at around 40%. So, what would be the guidance here on what, what sort of, because, I mean, the pool may be uh, coming down, etc. So, what would be the guidance on this track? Madam, Thank we you. have still... Uh, Still written off accounts, technically written off accounts, portfolio is there with us around <coughs> 68,000 to 72,000 range. Still there is a lot of scope to recover out of that. And every year we expect that 4 to 5,000 crores we get from that bunch. And the fresh written off also is keep on happening in that every quarter. And when you return off, write off in the pressure lines, there is a every possibility that in that also there is a uh, possibility to recover the amounts. So this is an ongoing, it is not a one-time, madam. Every year we look at that four to 5,000 crores we can recover from the return of accounts. And the main where we can share it with you is our quality of the assets is main important. Look at that the one year back we are told that we are shared with the, uh, all of you that our recoveries and upgradation will be better than the slippages. That is the standard we have taken and the entire top management along with that staff members, we are working on that. Continuously, every quarter, we are able to maintain that. In the current quarter also, if you see that our slippages are from existing, it is a 3,082, the new fresh slippages. Even existing page, you add on is 300. If you add total, it is a 3,400 slippages is there. As against that, the upgradations are 520 crores, and cash mm -hmm. recovery is 3,161. Total, it is a 3,681 accounts. 3,681 against the slippages are only 3,400. So we are continuing in that. And even when we are working hard on even existing SMA 0, 1, 2, there also. That gives that figures more comfortable for you that you just look at that one year back, our percentage of the SMA 0, 1, 2 is at 0.76%. In between though it has gone to the 0 0.80, now it has come down to the 0 0.69. So we are working very hard on that number of accounts. If you see that both accounts and amounts, both at zero level and one level and two level, we are working hard to control there itself. So that is helping us in maintaining the, our credit cost below the 1% and uh, less pressure on our names. Thank you. Uh, we move to the next question from uh, Rakesh Kumar. Request you to please unmute yourself. Yeah. yeah hi. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, sir, couple of questions I have. Uh, so, uh, firstly, like, you know, we have a total gross NPA and written off pool of 11.6% of total loan book. So, what is that, you know, total unrealized interest income that we have on the book? Pardon? Un? Recovered. Unrecovered, unrealized interest income on the gross NP and the technical So that is very course. difficult to calculate and tell. Uh, that's our CFO will share it to you, mail for entire exactly amount you have to calculate. But at the book balance, I can tell you that. So almost 1,10,000 1 to 1,20,000, it is available, including that gross NPA and the return of book balance. But the return of uh, <coughs> unapplied or waiver interest, so if you take it that a documented rate, it will be multifold. So, but there is an, it's very limited possibility that you can earn out of that some amount. That's why generally we don't maintain that figure. So it is a individual account wise, it will be there. But when the negotiations happens, we also try to get not only the book balance, if at all any part of that unrealized interest to be recovered, we keep recovering that. But that is in a multi, multifold, it will be there. So when Correct. I show a shade, it is 110 to 120, that will be definitely more than 100% of that amount. 
So for this quarter, sir, this quarter the interest income that have that we have accrued, uh, what would be that number, sir, from uh, from NPA recovery and TWO recovery? That's what, sir. This recovery also this time also again we are targeting around the TWO may the, the book balance and all. It is approximately we are expecting around 1500 to 1600 we can recover, but these are all ultimately in a year we book around that to four to five thousand crores from technical written off. Some one quarter it may come down, one quarter it may go up based on that materialization of our negotiations. In the anxiety of achieving that things, sometimes we will not compromise on our. When we can recover higher amount, we will try to recover the higher amount only, even if it's one month delayed. That's why exactly telling in the particular quarter how much it is very difficult. Eh? But in overall year, we definitely recover in the technical return of around four to five thousand crores, which we are already uh, reflected in the last. One or two years financial balance sheets. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. No, sir. Interest income part, sir. Interest income part that we have accrued this quarter, sir. How much that would uh, that number would be? See again, interest income part also. It is based on your growth in the advances, average growth in the cap advances. That is an interest income, no? Or interest on non-performing assets you are expecting? Correct. And sir, you are expecting from me interest on non-performing assets. Yes, sir. Non-performing asset and the technically return of loan that we have recovered this quarter. More or less, that will be in a, every quarter. Almost, it is in the same lines. It will be there, but exact amount to telling that uh, that's budgeting will not be there for that. Whatever the best we can do, we will try to recover as much as possible. Great, 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 sir. Sir, on the other objects, I would like to come to that uh, number again. Uh, that number has gone up by around 600 odd crore this quarter. So. Oh, so, what is the incremental number here uh, in that other office, sir? If we can, if we can you see know. that particular, see, see what will happen when that particular quarter may the it is in the technical return of huh? OPEX. It's the OPEX jo staff cost. You see that the first one is the sort actually the the uh, staff cost. One one thing is operating expenses pay. The staff cost because of the bipartite settlement. We have to provide 17 percent, and we have completed that entire payment of arrears from November 2022 to now. And in addition to that, whatever it is required for towards pension and the uh, gratuity, that uh, based on the recommendations given by the actuaries, and earlierly we initially we expected that it may be around 150 to 200 crore balance, but in actual it has come 350 crores. That entire 350 crores also we have provided below the line. So that's why your staff cost is reflecting that 4,458. But on an average, every month, next quarter onwards, this staff cost will be stabilized around 4,000 to 4,100. There is a question of 350 crores here in the operating expenses. The second operating, other operating expenses is in the depreciation. One is there, and one time some uh, expenditure in the IT related also around 150 to 200 crores we absorbed this time only. So those things are there. That's why that it is reflecting that little more in the operating expenses. But otherwise, whatever our control in the operating expenses will continue, and it will stabilize even other operating expenses around 2,600. So over the, the 600 staff cost, there is a 300 benefit will be there. In the down the level also, there will be some 300 crores cushion will be there when the coming quarters are coming. So that will be the 250 to 300 crores benefit will be there. So that will be the comfort for the next quarters, few quarters, whatever it is there. So just one last question, sir. Our non-retail sum is about it. We we would like you to please join back in the queue. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Thank you, Rakesh. Uh, next question is from the line of Jay Mudra. Uh, Jay, if you can unmute yourself and go ahead. Hi, good evening, sir, uh, and thanks for the opportunity. Good uh, evening, sir. Jay. In your opening. Yeah, sir. In your opening remarks, you mentioned that you know you are still studying the RBI new circular uh, on project under implementation. But out of your infra book, right? Um, you would have an idea as to how much of the loans are under DCCO as of now. Maybe within the infra, you know, book of one lakh twenty nine thousand crores. See, there are several conditions are there in that. It's not the guidelines is only so project under implementation is there. Project completed, but The balance has not come down below 20% is there. Balance projects are implemented. The 20% has come down is that is also there. And we don't know to what is the floor uh, 
price we have to take for project, whether it's a project cost we have to take or the loan sanctioned has to be taken. So many doubts are there. These doubts we are seeking the clarification from the regulator. Yes. Exact amounts and tentative amounts we can achieve it. Otherwise, now you, you have to, if in the absence of that, you, tomorrow you may sanction one loan for MSME for 25 lakhs. The 25 lakhs is a project implementation also you have to provide. We don't know that exactly, no. So these clarifications, unless otherwise we get the clarifications, it's a too early to comment on that. And uh, But one thing I can give you a confidence that whatever the guidelines given to the RBI, uh, we are well prepared to face that. That much confidence I can give to you because partly whenever there is an impact on burden either in the bottom line or in the capital side, the calculations or risk department will calculate what is impact on that. And that calculations partly we observe and partly we request our borrowers to absorb it and we are successful in convincing the, our borrowers even in the recently last time when the risk weighted and NBFCs have increased. That is the reason we could maintain our NIM at 3.07 and we have shown a much improvement, improvement in the yield on advances in the th fourth quarter. The same thing will continue when you have a good relation with your borrowers and we can easily convince them to share the part of that. Even in existing borrowers also, we can request our borrowers to share that part of that uh, burden. So I don't see too much panicness in that. And you see that the last year our net profit is 10,600 crores. But this time our uh, net profit is 14,554 crores. Don't you see that there is a 37% increment for us? So we have ample cushion in our balance sheets. Uh, we are ready to face whatever it is there, the stringent guidelines. If it comes for the betterment of the balance sheet, we are in line with that regulator. Understood, understood, sir. Uh, okay, sir, and uh, on April 1st, there was a new RBI regulation on reclassification of investment portfolio. You know, uh, you must have redrawn the balance sheet as on April 1st. Uh, was there any accretion to CET1 or AFS reserve or general reserve out of that exercise? And if you can quantify that. I, I request my executive director who is overseeing that the treasury, Mr. C. Mukherjee, sir, he will share his views on that. You see, on implementation of the new accounting guidelines from 1st of April, uh, it has added about 1,400 crores to our reserves. So that is a positive point which has happened uh, by implementation of this. Secondly, our, our HTM portfolio, which is quite high, more than 80%, so that is also giving us a ample scope for uh, future uh, you know, uh, profitability because the yields are coming down. And you know, uh, even uh, in the last financial year, uh, let me tell you that our portfolio yield has increased from 6.69% to 6.91%. Uh, for the total investment portfolio. So uh, our treasury, our investment portfolio is, uh, uh, you know, doing satisfactorily, I can say. You know, very point, very taken, sir. 1,400 crores is a decent amount. It's just that it is the combination of both AFS reserves and general reserve, right? I mean, or is it only the... Right, 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 right. No, sir, just wanted to check, sir, is this the... Revaluation of both HTM as well as AFS or only the AFS to put? No, no, HTM and AFS. Okay, sure. And uh, lastly, sir, uh, if you can give the breakup of series during the quarter and the loan Pardon? will break up by benchmark. Which one? Uh, what is that, sir? On slippages breakup and breakup of loan. Slippage breakup. Yeah. You say it's around 3,400 now, sir. Actually, out of that is 1,000 crores, 1,100, 1,080 is agriculture. 1,200 crores is MSME, 400 crores is retail, and 400 crores from mid corporate it is there, sir. And breakup of loan books, sir, by benchmark, by EBLR, MCLR, uh, fixed rate. So that's uh, yeah, the MCLR book is around 51 point odd. That is approximately 52 percent, sir. Our RLR linked is 38%. The remaining 10% is staff loans and uh, loans against deposit and all those specific uh, schemes, yes, sir. All right. sir if, if, you, if you permit, I can ask one more question. Uh, sir? Jay, we'll request you to please uh, join back in the queue. Sure, no problem. Thank you very much, sir. All the best. No. Uh, 
The next question is from the line of Ashok Ajmera. Uh, request you to please unmute yourself and go ahead. <clears throat> uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity, though I am waiting from the first question itself. Anyway, uh, sir, yes, definitely, sir, the profitability of the bank has improved and it is the one of the best uh, quarter as far as the net profit is concerned. Having said that, sir, I have got again a question on our credit growth. Sir, if you look at this, uh, this current quarter, uh, I mean the last quarter, the credit growth is, net credit growth is only 6,717 crore in the domestic book, which is just 0.75%. So, overall, you said you set a target of 10% and you achieved 11%. But going forward, uh, how are we going to, if, if, if in a quarter the credit growth, and that is also in the, in the March quarter itself, if it is only 0.75%, so how can we expect uh, the credit to growth to come in in the, in the, in the coming quarter? So does it mean so that a big me... chunk of loan has been repaid and a fresh let loan me, let... are, yeah. Yes, let, me, let, me, let me explain to you, sir. I was sharing with you for last four quarters that we have two years back invested 60 to 70,000 crores in triple A rated borrowers at much, much cheaper rate. Because during that time that decision was the good because we have surplus 60, 70,000 crores in our system, we deployed that. But now that deployment became a costly for us because that borrowers are not inclined to increase their rate of interest and that rate at that rate maintaining that is 70,000 to just to manage our top line will be difficult and it will be having a stress on our margins. So as a calculative business decision, the bank has taken a decision to gradually reduce your exposure from these 7-8 borrowers from this 70,000 to acceptable level of 25 to 30,000 crores. That in our stretch we cannot reduce it. Whenever, whenever it comes for the due renewal for those things are uh, those things we are reducing 50 percent or 60 percent or 30 percent depending on the price what we are getting from that borrowers and we are renewing it is partly so the remaining amount we are accepting as a payment from them and that amount we are investing in that but the credit growth there is no question of sluggishness so i already shared with you in the last quarter itself we, we are almost 14 to 15 thousand crores we have taken reduced that limits from existing three triple rated or whatever it is because the rate of interest is much, much below than the market rates. So that's why that is not reflecting in your Q on Q basis the incremental growth. It's, if that is the case, that would have been impacted our RAM growth. You look at that our RAM growth is more than 2%, then it is not that uh, the credit growth is not there. So only because of the corporate growth may we have taken that decision and to rejig our portfolio without impacting our margins and where this 60,000, 70,000 the burden is there that slowly we want to reduce that burden. This is the only that. And one more uh, green patch I will tell you too that maybe the, uh, this is the first of its kind. From April this month, 30th month, the March 31st to April 30th, we are positive by 9,000 crores in the balance sheet. Oh, and that means in advances itself, we are positive by 3,000 to 4,000 crores. And that, don't you think that it will give us a benefit in the interest income? Yeah, definitely. Sir. So we don't want to be in the market when the market is too busy and uh, working for the top line. Our policy is very clear, sir. We don't want to grow at the top line, at the cost of bottom line. We know when everybody is relaxed, we want to do that our job. That's job we are doing in the April itself. And in April, our balance sheet is so comfortable and the first time in the history of our bank as well as in the, all the banks. We are 9,000 crores more than the, our domestic business of March 31st. Yes, sir. Sir, my second and is majority the majority has come from, majority of this incremental growth has come from either in the savings bank or in the advances. Nothing else. That's great, sir. Sir, you said that the additional provision of over and above the IREC norms is 1,800 crores. Sir, yes, out sir. of that, that, that one major account, you know, which was slipped uh, last year, uh, this year, yes, how sir. much out of that 1,800 crore is of that particular account? Sir, approximately 300 crores is there, sir. 
तो ओवरऑल 300 बिकॉज 300 यू मेड दिस ईयर नो नो ओवरऑल नहीं है सर एडिशनल एडिशनल वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड 300 आउट ऑफ दिस 1800 हंड्रेड क्रोर विच वी हैव दी फ्लोटिंग आई मीन द एक्स्ट्रा प्रोविजन सर थ्री हंड्रेड एक्स्ट्रा प्रोविजन थ्री हंड्रेड एक्स्ट्रा प्रोविजन वी हैव मेड टूवर्ड्स दैट अकाउंट दैट अकाउंट ओके सर पॉइंट वेल टेकन सर आई विल कम ऑन ट्रेजरी वी हैव गिवन ए वेरी गुड हैंडसम एंड सम प्रॉफिट ऑन यस यस लेटी मास्क सर लेटी मास्क अशोक जी इज लेटी मास्क सर आई हैव बीन वेटिंग फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम पीपल है वॉज फाइव फाइव सर आस्क सर आस्क सर because uh, you better to you moderator to also should understand from, if any uh, apprehensions are there it is better to take no 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 apprehension sir it is just a few point of uh, you know information data and uh, sir our treasury uh, has performed very well the uh, profit from the sale of the investment is 663 crore out of 865 crore of profit in this quarter now our fs book is also increased by around 9 10000 crore even in this quarter also so mukherjee sahab are you uh, going forward uh, do this momentum in the treasury uh, performance or income will continue uh, in the coming quarters as you see that rates also might might be little bit of uh, up in softening uh, may come by the rbi in the rates also no no definitely sir we are definitely for churning our portfolio in investments and we have been trying to do that and that is why as i told you earlier that our portfolio yields have increased to 6.91 from 6.69 and also please note that this uh, change in accounting has uh, has given our cet1 uh, a boost yeah. of 21 basis point which is a very big amount about yes. 1400 crores so going forward uh, our a if our afs portfolio we will continue to uh, increase and uh, you know Uh, churn it uh, as well as use our uh, htm portfolio as well yes for okay. you know uh, churning and getting more and more profits that is what our intention always and this time also that's great sir if you permit just last question in this round uh, yes sir uh, if you refer the note number 13 uh, sir we have sold some np accounts uh, 12 np accounts of 2850 crore that was the book value also yes. and the outstanding also so aggregate consideration received is 916 crore whereas in the next same note in the in the note number 1013e we are mentioning that the quantum of excess provision reversed in the pndl account from the sale of the states loan is 371 crores so so the consideration received is 916 crore let let me the, let me explain to you sir let me explain to you sir yes so whenever yes, sir, you are transferring sir. yes sir yes, whenever yes. you are transferring your account you are selling your account to nrcl or any other arc we have sold to only nrcl sir no other arc we have sold okay. the nrcl when you are selling it the 15% only upfront you will get the cash sir the remaining 85% they will give in the form of a srs guaranteed by central government though it yes. is a guaranteed by central government as per the existing regulatory guidelines we cannot reverse that provisioning on that srs that, that portion so whatever the settled amount 968 upfront what we got is 15% of that cash we will get it the remaining accounts made the whatever the srs they are issuing it that srs provisioning against that amount will continue in the system sir all right so this 371 that, that provision reversal you will you don't see that we see only 371 crore yes in sir. the provision reversal yes sir for this and and what was the percentage of this overall including 15% and 85% of the of the book outstanding i mean so how much it real realization actually percentage it, it, it sir it varies from account to account sir some accounts we get upfront cash more some account upfront cash will come less but the minimum is upfront cash is 15% but that yeah. varies from account to account thank you sir uh, the next question is from the line of uh, sushil choksi please unmute yourself and go ahead thank you sushil ji Congratulations for a very stable number and stable outlook. 
सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर एंटायर वर्ल्ड इज सर्चिंग कासा एंड स्पेसिफिकली कैनरा बैंक इफ यू कंपेयर विद आवर पीयर बैंक एट आवर साइज लेवल वॉट आर वी डूइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट आर कासा That's the difference between your balance sheet and their balance sheet, where cost to income or other numbers are concerned. Presuming the other two numbers are stable, which are yet to be announced, what are we enabling that our casa from current 32 goes to 35 or 40 percent over a period of three five years? Sir, we are working hard on that casa. Undoubtedly, we have taken casa is our first priority among all our business parameters. but historically when you say that the 62 to 65% of branches network is in the south india kasa is uh, historically is a challenge for our bank because that is though it is yielding in a asset side benefit but this side is a kasa we don't want to accept that weakness as it is and last year first working day itself we started we launched six products targeting various sectors uh, retired people we have come out with two products and the salaried class we have come out with three four products then special other than salaried class for savings bank we have come out with some select products and business community also we have come out with two products in the current account we also simultaneously developed our digital footprint uh, so comfortable with the customer so that the younger generation with whom we feel that the so much casa is available and they are the high earning uh, individuals in the present society so targeting them also we are launching several features several products so that they will start dealing with us and that has given us a very much good comfortable if you see our the casa uh, as on december and casa as on march casa as on december it is only 3 31.662 whereas if at the casa at the march level it has gone to the 63 basis point more and we have crossed 32.25 or 26 something that's the area this is possible only because our incremental growth in the sb individuals in the absolute numbers also i can share approximately around 16 to 17000 crores in sb individuals alone has been increased out of that only 6000 crores we got it from through new schemes what we have introduced so that is an uh, actually the major uh, junk what we have got the jump and simultaneously we introduced a relationship manager concept to reconnect with our our high net worth customers that has been established almost 4900 branches exclusive officer has been uh, given to uh, handle or the serve the top 200 customers and we have introduced api banking with 200 features to make corporates comfortable with dealing from their host to host integrity we also has done corporate mobile app this is a second public sector bank to make it more comfortable for the corporate so that they can shift their entire ancillary business towards us and we they are taking several initiatives to attract that recently in continuation of that with the at a motivation given by the last year whatever the new products the enthusiasm has increased in our uh, rank and file because so this first working day of this current financial year also we launched two new products one is directly a casa that is a canara angel targeting for the women and this is the first of its kind in the india whatever the products we are launching last one year and these two months first of its kind in the industry there afterwards the other banks whether it's a public or private sector banks are introducing the similar products and this canara angel has got so much attention from the various sections of the people especially various geographical areas and in the first one month itself we got 200 crores in the new accounts opened in that particular product it is not from the existing accounts migrated to that so new connections what we got through them that we got more than 200 crores in that simultaneously we also launched to target the younger generation who whom we wants to attract to onboard as a customer so we introduced a canara heal that is a medical gap funding so whenever the health insurance scheme has been taken by the any youngster for their dependents or for themselves when they admit their uh, dependents on that there will be a difference between the tpa settled amount as well as the corporate hospital billed amount that gap funding the person can avail it within 2 3 minutes by opting on the online this is entire thing is been stp process no physical intervention everything the documents can be uploaded online 
and he can opt for that that product also is uh, attracted many corners from many areas and nowadays i am seeing more uh, tractions as well as the uh, discussions on that product this product is aimed not for lending only it is for aiming for that younger generation to onboard it so they can onboard they can open their account online and take this facility then and there and they can repay it whatever the installments they like it such innovation r&d has developed a lot and you know that very much that in the last january first itself we introduced a uh, industry best uh, business analytics uh, and data lake in our uh, special exclusive lab and that is also as creating a wonders in uh, garnering the leads especially in the casa side so these are all the initiatives we are not stopping here we are also now having a discussions with many vendors for bringing a gen ai ai into our regular customer experience areas so that that also will attract the younger generation our innovation in the uh, yeah, technology to make more younger generation attractive to this bank will continue and to attract other sections of the society our r&d is target oriented the sector targeted or segment targeted products we are launching it and this efforts will continue with that we are very much confident that the current year we will achieve that 33% casa and as you said that it is a reaching to 37 to 38% definitely it's a long way to go we are working on that but we are not sure whether we can achieve it in 3 years or 4 years but we are uh, aiming and we are working on that only even recently recently when we had a board strategy meet we want to achieve it 35% by two years in the next two years and there afterwards again we want to keep it in the longer five year plan also we are drafted there we kept it after five years we want to achieve it around 38% these things are quite possible if we continue with that innovative products and we are sure we will achieve those things sir so your city attracts the highest and the best talent and your state attracts the best talent to the service economy and new generation is concerned the amount of digital spend which we have done to migrate the bank from old old canara bank to new generation canara bank when do you think this the entire migration will reward the bank whether this year next year or will it take some more time see innovation and technology imparting is a journey sir it is a not a destination that we have we can say that yes we have achieved 100% so always you will get innovative things and you have to capture that and you should be the first in the industry then the people will attract you people will recognize you people will identify you as their preferred banker but the majority of the investment i can say that we are completed but now we are in that taking the fruits out of that investment so now we are working hard on that but simultaneously our investment may not be that much volumes may invest but at a little over side but investment will continue in the it now current year we are targeted for gen uh, ai artificial intelligence sir new gen ai what is there that area whether we want to improve our customer service customer experience by introducing in the chatbot or even the customer uh, call center or even in the online transaction monitoring to re- address the cyber security uh, cyber crimes and all those things many areas we identified in that we are working on that so in the current year we have already finished one month based on unavail limits and what we have sanctioned and your credit guidance of 10 11% or you may do 12% what is the limit available with people who if let's assume that the economy is on a very high trajectory after infection what kind of limits can be availed me what is unavailable limits undrawn limits like in in the corporate itself what we sanctioned and partly dispersed we have approximately 25 to 30000 crores in that in the ham sector in the different different areas and even in msme also there are unavailable limits are there 4 to 5000 crores all these things it's not that that it will be overnight they will use it it as and when they require as and when it is due for that they will use it but the what i want to tell you is the credit growth i want to tell you share it with you that the from march 31st compared to the last working day of april after one month so we are total balance sheet pe domestic business we are 9000 crores more than march figure this may be the first bank we are openly sharing with you that the we are 9000 crores positive than the march 31st figure that's what our business plan 
and when uh, the activity is less we want to do more uh, business so that that will take care of our uh, nims also and re returns uh, yield on advances also interest income in the first month itself we are almost 4000 crores positive in the advances sir uh, the my last question in this round if time permits besides the two ipo which you are proposing any other asset monetization plan from canada no sir at this moment only those two we are thinking of uh, listing sir and it is in advanced stage one is in advanced stage one is in still off way and we expect that one it may come to the listing in the last quarter of this financial year the other one may come in the first quarter of the next financial year sir thank you and best wishes our cr our cr year is uh, shushil ji hope you will agree that it, this is one of the highest cr year among the public sector peer public sector banks at 16.28% and uh, our uh, internal accruals are so high and that is taking care of our growth rate whatever it is there at this moment we are working on improving the value of our investment we are our focus more on improving our value of the investment sir i can tell you last subsidy sir in that our bank sir last 24 to 30 months you have outperformed most of the peers in terms of the balance sheet size or many other aspects and shareholders have been rewarded and i hope that journey continues with your team sure sir we can assure you that that whatever the rewarding the shareholders last time 120% this time 160% the same tempo will continue in the current year also sir thank you and all the best sir thank you sir thank you sir uh, we have the next question from the line of anand dama request you to unmute yourself and go ahead hi thank you for the opportunity uh, so my first question is on the margins so this quarter we have seen almost like you know stable margins as such was there any interest on np recovery during the current quarter and what is your guidance in terms of margins for fy 25 so nim margins means nim uh, whatever yeah. we are telling if presuming that current liquidity position continues so we have seen in the bulk deposits and cds little softness from march quarter to now in the april so the so trades were earlier it was too high now it has come down something to say extent of 7.6 7.7 that range but still retail term deposits the same rates are continuing which is high cost deposit only so at this moment we don't see too much change in the uh, cost of deposit and the yield on advances in the current quarter too much change may not be there so whatever the performance what we are showing in the just concluded march may continue in the margins level but for cautiously we are projecting ourselves that it may be around 2.95 to 3% but our endeavor always will be to see that it is our nim is uh, 3 around 3 or more than 3 but cautiously we are uh, giving the guidance that because presuming that this liquidity tightness will continue throughout the year if the flexibility is there automatically that will impact our nim and uh, that will show a positive reflection on that but tell me anand sir as a can you just talk about interest on np recovery during the current quarter like fourth quarter how much was it interest on npa recovery npa recovery so npa recovery interest specifically is telling that this much target and all it will be very difficult no no for this Generally quarter for fourth quarter sir i just want for that's what is a fourth quarter overall whenever we recover towards the transit if it is a technical return of return of accounts in that return of accounts whatever the uh, we are getting it even book balance is a profit for us and more than that whatever we get it we recover it and whatever the existing levels four quarters it is there so that 200 to 250 crores will continue every uh, quarter so that may not be a big change you will see that one quarter may you will get 600 crores one quarter may only 10 crores and an average generally interest on npa will come around 200 to to around 200 to 250 crores that will come in that sure sure and sir you know one thing basically if you can just talk about what is the overall project financing exposure that we have on our book as of now in terms of percentage i, I just want a ball park i mean 10% see I, i i already uh, addressed this question twice but i don't mind repeating that see Sir, i mean you said that basically like that, you tell me that what is the floor limit i have to take then i'll tell you 
We expect that our exposures are in and around of one lakh crore. If you take everything, but the, let the clarification comes. If the clarification comes that the project cost or the loan amount, the floor limit. If they say one crore, it's okay. If they say ten crore, it is. If they say fifty crores, that different figures will be there. But if you don't take any amount and hundred percent amounts, you have to take. It will be around one lakh crore approximately. Yes. Thanks. Thanks a lot. you the next question is from the line of ashlesh uh, please unmute yourself and go ahead yt uh, good afternoon sir just a couple of questions firstly on the corporate loan book uh, are there any further low yielding corporate corporate loans that you plan to shed and uh, what is the average yield on the corporate loan book right now see corporate loan book we don't shed it just like that shedding so when we generally whenever there is a due for that jo low cost or low yielding low yielding corporate book is there i already sharing with you that we have 60 to 70000 crores whenever those loans comes for either the repayment or for the renewal and all we are negotiating with that parties if that negotiation say happens as per our expected level if it is well within our appetite we can we love to continue with them but suppose if that's they have an a better options from other banks and they don't want to increase their rate of interest in such cases we are reducing our uh, exposures it is an ongoing exercise but it's not that that there is suddenly there will be a negative growth in that just like the last month what it is there it will not be there because already it is uh, the from march to now we have seen 3000 crores incremental growth in the corporate book alone in the one month understood sir so what is the average yield on the corporate loan book for us now it has crossed to 8.05 sir earlier it was 7 no now it is 8.05 8.17 8.17 um, and we are comfortable anything above 8% Understood, sir. And uh, what was this number in the previous quarter? Eight point one seven. That's what, sir. One year back, one year back, it was only seven point zero two or seven point zero six. Almost one hundred and ten basis points increased in that. Understood. So, and just one last question: uh, What would be the average cost of term outstanding term deposits for us? See, average cost already. It's a cost of deposit. It is reflecting, no sir. It is a 5.5 percent. If you want exclusively term deposits, it may work out around 6.25 to 6.5, sir. If you don't add the cost, sir, the only the cost of the term deposits, it work around 6.25 to 6.5 percent. Understood, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll take that as the last question. uh due to time constraints uh thank you sir for giving antique stock grouping this opportunity i hope all uh will hand it over the call to you uh, for your closing remarks thank you thank you very much sir we will continue to perform as expected lines our main thing is consistency that consistency will continue we will not see any knee jerks in our balance sheet in the coming quarters too that much assurance i can give thank you sir thank you everyone that concludes the call